I was honored to be asked to speak uh, about Tom. I'm a, for those of you who don't know me, I'm a professor at Wagner. It's my uh, 14th year here. And unlike so many of you, I didn't have the privilege of knowing Tom terribly well. But like so many, if not all of my colleagues, I admired him as a man of integrity, thoughtfulness, and honesty. I first really got to know Tom uh, while I was chair of the art department, and some policy had come down from the business office. I've long since forgotten where it was, but not unusually, everybody was up in arms about it, and as uh, department chairs tend to do, I sent a rather long-winded email uh, to Tom asking for explanation and, and going over all of the things that um, we thought would cause a problem, and I was kind of surprised when the phone rang and he said, um, Hi, it's, it's Tom Carroll. Um, let's, let's not go back and forth on, about this over email. Why don't you pop into my office when you get a chance? Um, and I'll answer any questions you might have. So I, um, I did that. I stopped by his office. And we wound up chatting about so many things I actually forgot to ask about the policy <laughs> before I left. Um, like Tom, I had the privilege of being um, the parent of the privilege and challenge of being the parents of daughters. Um, and all the joy and um, interesting things that come with that. Um, Tom was a very, very busy man, but he spoke to you as if he had all the time and patience in the world. And I feel privileged to have gotten to know Tom a little bit better, who he was, uh, by following his surgery and recovery and his bravery on the Caring Bridge. I really marveled at the supporters, so many friends and loved ones pulling for him and getting his sense of humor. And on more than one occasion, I would call my husband over and say, Eric, you got to see this. Um, you, know, you, you just got to you just got to look at this joke. And I really marveled at his composure and his grace under fire. Um, although I'm sure there was a lot of fear and pain and suffering, and what seemed like an incredible warmth in the face of despair. Uh, you were one of the good guys, Tom, and I'm really glad that I got to know you. Thank you.